Good evening. Thank you so much, Tony and Mike and Ed and Sarah and all of you. I'm so honored to be with you this evening. We come together this year once again to lift our voices and to rededicate our hearts to the work of repairing our deeply broken society. I want to share with you one lesson tonight from the story of Exodus central to the Hebrew Bible and the Jewish faith along with so many faiths. This is the story of a tyrannical ruler who violently suppressed an Israelite minority living under his rule, whom he feared would one day rise up against him. With ruthless taskmasters who were eager to do his bidding, Pharaoh enslaved the people, forcing them to endure generations of hardship and humiliation. Every living Israelite was the descendant of enslaved people until none alive remembered freedom. Their bodies were broken, their spirits were nearly crushed. But then, after hundreds of years of suffering, God heard the people's cries and redeemed them with a strong hand and an outstretched arm. It was then that the newly liberated began their long journey toward freedom. This story is an archetypal redemption story, an eternal reminder that as much as the world has changed since ancient times, Oppression, degradation, exploitation remain part of the human condition. As long as there is power, there will be abuses of power. The telling and the retelling of this story, though, has served as a sustained protest against despair. This is the closest thing that we come to the generational transmission of hope, itself an act of spiritual resistance. But the Exodus narrative doesn't just plant the seeds of hope and possibility for the oppressed. It demands of all of us full partnership in the grueling, unending work of building a just society, one that would stand in counter testimony to the brutality that the ancestors experienced in Egypt. This would be a society rooted in equal justice and the rule of law the two best protections from future tyrants the likes of Pharaoh. A just society in which every person, black, white, Latino, Asian, indigenous, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, Sikh, atheist, is treated as an image of the divine, infinitely worthy, equal in dignity, and completely unique. In a just society, systems of justice are meted out fairly and equally, and those who are most vulnerable are always protected. In a just society, forgiveness is possible. This is the age-old dream that has sustained millions of people. It is also a dream that is vastly unrealized in our time. Tonight, I pray that we find the strength to continue to work toward that just vision. Let us find renewed strength in this struggle because the world that we aspire to is not an impossible dream. Together we can manifest a reality in which every single human being is treated with dignity, with tenderness, and with love. Amen. <laughs> 